Ambiguity Uncovered Demystifying Relative Clauses Hello everyone, and welcome back to our English learning series. Today, we're going to dive deeper into the world of relative clauses and specifically address a tricky little issue called ambiguity. This is a common pitfall for many English learners, but don't worry. By the end of this video, you will have a clear understanding of what ambiguity is and how to avoid it when constructing your sentences. When we talk about ambiguity in relative clauses, we're referring to the confusion that can arise when it's not clear to whom or what a relative clause refers. A relative clause is a type of clause that describes a noun or pronoun in another part of the sentence, usually the one that it directly follows. Here is an example. The man who was driving the car had a beard. In this sentence, the relative clause, who was driving the car, clearly refers to the man. There's no ambiguity here, as it's clear who we're talking about. But let's look at a different sentence. I met the man with my sister who has a beard. In this sentence, the relative clause, who has a beard, could refer to either the man or my sister. This is ambiguity. Ambiguity in your sentences can lead to misunderstandings and communication breakdowns. It can confuse your listener or reader, leaving them uncertain about your intended meaning. It's essential, especially in formal or academic writing, to be as clear and precise as possible to ensure your message is correctly understood. So, how can we avoid this problem of ambiguity? Here are a few strategies. 1. Rephrase your sentence. Often, the easiest way to remove ambiguity is to rephrase your sentence. For example, the ambiguous sentence, I met the man with my sister who has a beard, could be rephrased as, I met the man who has a beard with my sister. 2. Use punctuation. Appropriate use of commas can help clarify the meaning. For example, I met the man with my sister, who has a beard. Here, it's clear that it's the sister who has a beard. 3. Break it into two sentences. If it's still confusing, you can always break it up into two sentences. For example, I met the man with my sister. He has a beard. And there you have it. That's our dive into the topic of ambiguity in relative clauses. Remember, clarity is crucial when it comes to effective communication. By understanding ambiguity and knowing how to avoid it, you'll be well on your way to crafting clear, effective sentences in English. As always, keep practicing and happy learning.